Good evening. 9.04 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Tuesday, January 23rd, 2024. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. So I just wanted to do a quick update here for everybody. I just got back home from uh, the viewing for my aunt who passed away uh, on Friday. So tomorrow we'll do the um, actual put the rest at uh, 9.30 tomorrow morning. So I wanted to do an update now. I didn't get to do my normal lives this afternoon because obviously I was gone doing all of that for about from 3 to 8. So made it interesting afternoon. But right now, please, if you're watching, to make sure to hit that like button. It will greatly help push me through the analytics and it will help push this community through the algorithm and allow more people reach this uh, community. I wanted to come on now. I'll keep this to about four minutes. But I wanted to come on because XRP right now is up or down 0.76%. As we know earlier, it went down sub 50 cents. We bounced off the 200 day earlier, or not earlier, but we bounced off the 200 day we're trying to right now in like the shorter time frame. But if we come back here to the longer time frames and the two hourly, we came all the way down to this wedge and we've tried to bounce off of this. It's about the 497 area. Um, and now we've hit our first resistance in the two hour time frame. If we get rejected in the two hour, at this 52 cent level, that could be the start of a breakdown again. We do have a reversal candle here if it decides to play through. Now, we could come up a little bit higher if we do get past this break point because we are showing a little bit of support here on the 20 day and the 30 minute time frame. It seems kind of like why would we come all the way up here and not retest that 524 area, which is now 526 because it's coming up the uptrending resistance. And then maybe an overextension of that 534 pivot point. But right now it looks like it's still in the middle of a possible continuation here. It probably won't be a huge continuation, but we were pretty oversold going into the higher time frames. Four hourly still starting to reverse here. Or the daily starting to reverse for tomorrow. But we are an oversold in the daily. Four hourly is finally starting to come out. We do have a reversal candle. But now in this four hourly, it's going to tell us a lot. Do we close over 52 cents? Or do we start rotating back down and start pushing more of a bearish candle? This is going to tell us a lot on this uh, this uh, continuation candle after that long wig doji, which is signaling in the four hourly that this could be the start of a reversal. Now we need a continuation over. We really need to close over 52 cents. It's like 5193. And then start pushing off of that pretty immediate after that. But now if we look at the other XRP chart, it's pretty interesting because right now we're still in this formation and it's like a descending triangle, I suppose you could say. Downtrending resistance, downtrending support. We've bounced off here, so we've basically gone resistance, support, resistance, support. Now do we bounce back up to resistance? And what I mean by that is, is I think it's pretty clear you can say resistance, support, back up to resistance, back down to support. It does it pretty quick. Our next shot, if we go back to resistance, would be around 577.58 cents. So that's the options we have here. It's only Tuesday. We've got a long week ahead of us. So there's still a lot of trading to be done. There's still a lot that's going to be out ahead of us. It does. I mean, if you're looking at this objectively or non-objectively and you're just looking at this, you can see XRP. We're clearly in that rising channel from June of 2022. Is the most immediate formation here. If you take out this short-term trend, we're in that rising channel. And it started June of 2022. If we break this formation, 44 cents is your next major support. So other than that, the only other thing I wanted to look at real quickly was um, was because everybody keeps talking about a spot XRP, the XRP ETF. And just like this article, I don't think that's even on the horizon anytime soon. And now, does it really matter? Because look what happened when Bitcoin ETF got approved. They completely pulled the rug. So sorry, XRP Army spot XRP ETF won't happen anytime soon, says analyst. While there's a chance that exchange-traded fund ETF issuers are looking to offer a spot XRP. ETF investors shouldn't hold their breath for regulator, regulator approval anytime soon. According to analysts, speaking to Cointelegraph, analysts say that an ongoing case from the Securities and Exchange Commission against Ripple and the lack of an improved XRP futures ETF product would severely hurt the chance of an X, a spot XRP ETF approval. Cointure's head of product, Townsend Lansing, explained that an XRP ETF won't be feasible unless the SEC was forced to or agreed to concede that XRP is not a security. In July, the judge in the SEC suit against Ripple ruled that XRP as a token isn't a security, but it is when sold to institutional buyers. The fight between the two is ongoing and a trial in the case is scheduled for April 23rd of this year. 
Van Buren Capital General Partner Scott John, uh, Johnson says he also sees the likelihood as very slim and would likely require new leadership at the SEC. Others, such as CoinShare Research Analyst Max Shannon, pointed out it took over a decade to approve a spot Bitcoin ETF. Earlier this month, Bloomberg ETF analyst James Deifert shared little confidence in an imminent XRP ETF in an interview with Thinking Crypto's Tony Edward on January 11th. Seifert said the ETF was a remote possibility and didn't think it would happen this year, given the SEC's ongoing case against Ripple. Seifert also noted that unlike Bitcoin and Ethereum, there are currently no approval XRP futures ETFs in the United States. On the subject, uh, Johnson argues that even if a financial exchange like the CME listed XRP futures tomorrow, the SEC would require years of high correlation between XRP's futures and spot markets before approving a spot ETF to ensure surveillance sharing agreements are sufficient to detect fraud and manipulation in the spot market, like what happened for spot Bitcoin funds. And then XRP investors are still hopeful. However, analyst pessimism hasn't stymied hope from some of the more avid XRP fans in the recent weeks. In January, Ripple CEO Brad Gollinghouse was seen as playfully evasive when asked if one of one way or one was on the way during a January interview at the World Economic Forum. While days earlier, some saw BlackRock CEO Larry Fink smiling when he dismissed a similar question by Fox Business Charles Gaspariano. Um, Brad Garlinghouse, CEO of Ripple, is basically telling you that an XP ETF is on the way. That's how they fought it up. Hopes were dashed on that on the latter after Gasparino reported that BlackRock has no plans for spot XRP ETF. And then uh, Franklin Templeton's digital asset head, Sandy Cool, hinted in an interview on January 11th that they would be offering clients more opportunities to invest in crypto, and she anticipated more filings coming from a from US at or from us at some point, which has also raised hopes for other crypto ETF filings. Whether an XRP fund is coming or not, the industry is focused on the potential approvals for of spot Ether ETFs with Bloomberg ETF analyst Eric Bakunas pinning approval odds at about 70% in May. So that's what I'd be pointing to as well. If you're looking to trade XRP or your favorite crypto, video description below, you can find all that information for different exchanges for the lowest spot fees and future fees if you want to leverage trade. Have a blessed afternoon. Please make sure to hit that like button. If you want to show support for the channel, you can always send a YouTube super chat, join Tom's Army. And to show appreciation, pay it forward. And always, always understand you never have to watch paid promotion advertisements or sponsors of any kind. I like to give this out for free. And I like to put this out, you know, as transparently as I can. Have a blessed night, everybody.